Hey guys, today we're going to be taking apart this uh, HP PC. It's an older computer. Um, I think it's 2000s. You see it's the Core 2, Intel Core 2 Duo. We're going to be taking it apart. I'm going to get the hard drive from it and I hook it up to my other PC, see if there's anything in that. But other than that, we're going to take this thing apart just for fun. Why not? See what's in this old machine. All right, so we got this big cover off. Just take this thing out, just slide it forward and up. And here are the insides. Here's the motherboard. This is the GPU, I believe. Here's the RAM right there. Those sticks right here, all the RAM. I'm not too good with computers, but I believe that is the RAM. Uh, that's the, the GPU, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Motherboard. I don't plan on keeping this. I plan on throwing away after this. Here's the power. Everything, this is the main power, so let's start unplugging stuff. First, right there. This thing right here. Let me try. So we got that unplugged. And there's something under this optical drive, I believe it's called. Yeah, so let me take this out, make sure there's no screws. And I'll get back to you guys, all right? It looks like there's gonna be this clip right here. That should be easy enough. Oh, well, that was easy. Um. Yeah, so that just comes out like that. That was pretty easy. No screws. Easy enough. And I have a couple things in the back right here. Let's see if I can take these out. This one right there. Two. Up. DVD player. Out. So the things. February 2007 when this was manufactured. This actual drive, but maybe the PC might be. 2008 or something, but let me continue with the tear down. So, power unit is not fully completely out yet. Um, here's the power unit, it's a little fan and all that. Let me put you guys down real quick, I'm gonna see like saw this. But let me take that so out. So I'm not gonna be able to disconnect the power unit yet, but I'm gonna start taking this, just taking things apart, seeing what's, starting off this little plastic, probably so this fan gets more ventilation into this this is the cooler for the CPU, I believe. Put that inside. I have not had to use any screws or anything. That's the good part. Put off this RAM. Just put that in on this other side. If you guys can never take it off RAM, there's usually just clips. Another clip. Let me see if I can get you guys a better angle. Another clip right there. Push that down. And just pulls out. Made in Korea. 256 megabytes of RAM right here. The good stuff. There you go. It's one. It's two. 512 megabytes of RAM axle. Put this side. And there's also this. At least, I think this is also RAM. Let me take that out. That's kind of difficult to come out, but there we go. Yeah, so this is more RAM, another 512 megabytes. And this is also more RAM. So in total, this probably had like a gigabyte, a little bit more than a gigabyte. Or more than a gigabyte, it had like a thousand, yeah, more than a gigabyte of RAM. So that probably wasn't too bad in the olden day, back then, when PCs were barely coming out. The technology was relatively new. All right, so I'm gonna see if I get the CPU cooler off. Just these, twist those off maybe, some more on the back. But let me see if I get that off, all right? All right? So I loosened all four screws, the one right here, one right there, and two in the back. And this just come out, boom. There's a little bit of thermal paste right there. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. And that is the CPU. <laughs> let me see if I remember how to take these off. I really don't care what happens to this PC, so. Just take that out. But just taking it apart, it's been really fun so far. Right, there it is right there. Let me see if it's the brains. This is super cool to me. Even though this is older stuff, probably not that good compared to stuff we have today. This is pretty still pretty cool. I'm gonna clean this off just so see if there's anything. Any description on it, but I'm gonna put this aside for now. Um, let me just put it here. 
All right, so let me keep taking it apart. But that's, I'm just taking out the GPU. I am gonna take out this fan because um, I might want to add extra fans to my PC for more uh, air. And then I still need to take out this hard drive, which looks like this gonna be that screw back there and the screw over here maybe. Most likely that screw back there. But I still need to figure out and see what's happening. So I'll get back to you guys. So I just figured out how to take the hard drive I was looking at for a little bit. It seems like you push it, just push it forward. And this little green thing, push it back so it slips up. And it just pulls out, no unscrewing anything. Pretty cool to me. The engineers have thought of that. It's the bottom of the hard drive. This is older hard drive, so. But this hard drive is 750 gigabytes. Or gigabytes. <laughs> Yeah, not too, not too bad, I guess, for back then. Not too bad. So let me unplug everything and I'll be able to take out the, this is all the power it's connected to. So I'll be taking out the power and the hard drive and connect this to my old PC, see what's in there. Okay, so I did get the power out. Use it to like lift this thing up. There's a little, uh, let me see if I can lift this thing. With one hand, it was pretty solid in there, but this just lifts up. There we go. And it was just connected on a bunch of things. Here are these here's data cables. I actually need these. So. I'll keep these for now. All right, but we can start taking out the GPU. I don't think there'll be any screws. It's pretty small, so let me just try to pull this thing. Let me check it around first, all right? So now, I thought this was a GPU, but actually it's not. I didn't look at the back. It's for the ethernet. So, yeah, but the only thing there was was this screw right here, and that screw back there, was which, which was a pain to get because this thing is in the way. So, now that those screws are out, both out, we just pull this thing out, get a little wiggle waggle, there. and then it should come out, boom. Yeah, but it's just for the ethernet. Upside down, anyways. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so I saw this right here. I wonder what I don't know what that's for, but I probably take this just take it out. But I have no idea what that's for. This is just this is clearly for the heat to get rid of the heat. But that I do not know what that's for. I'll probably clean it up, check it out, see if it says anything, but um, I still got to take off this fan. But I probably won't bore you guys with that. That's basically it, other than the motherboard. I'll clean up the CPU, I'll show you guys right now. But that's basically it with the teardown. I'll take out this fan, but this is going to be for personal. That's going to be because I need a fan, an extra fan for my PC. And it also has a little speaker right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Probably for the noise. But yeah, that's the end of the teardown. Um, actually, it's not the end. Let me clean the CPU and clean this little thing over here. So I can show you guys if they say anything. All right, so that is cleaned up. It doesn't say anything on that. It's just very shiny. Intel. Right there. And then the CPU. I need to hold that like, little glare. There you go. Intel 2005. This core was... Manufactured, I guess. Core Intel Core 2, Duo 6, 6400, 2.3 gigahertz. I don't know if that's good or bad. It probably isn't too good compared to today's PCs because this is an older PC. But this is pretty cool. This is cool. To, this is cool to me. So yeah. So we got the CPU. We got the Ethernet. We got the disk. We got all the RAM. We have the CPU cooler, which I was able to take out. Pretty cool. And the hard drive, which I'll plug into my other PC. I won't show you guys just in case there's some personal things in there. But I'll plug into my other PC to see what's in there. But yeah, that's all we got from it. The RAM, four sticks of RAM that I won't be using because they're on my PC I already have 16 gigabytes, so I won't need another. I won't need these, so. 
Yes, end of the turn, I've also got the power, which I won't be using. This will all go to the trash, basically, or recycling, except for the fan right there. I'm also gonna keep the CPU, just because it's pretty cool to me, so. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be doing some more Corvair videos later on. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Adios.